Disinfection is a process, not a product. Sometimes you have to disinfect. What was once primarily the concern of cleaning or medical professionals is now a concern for everyone in response to COVID-19. There are a lot of people new to how to use disinfectants properly. In this short video, we'll discuss that. First, it's important to remember disinfection is a process, not just a product. The CDC has always recommended this. Some products might say one-step disinfectant on the label. Too often people think this means they can clean and disinfect at the same time in one step. But it's just not that simple. Read the label and you'll likely see that it says the product should be used on a pre-cleaned surface. If you spray disinfectant on a surface before you clean, then dirt, debris, even fingerprint grease on the surface can block it from getting to the contaminant you're trying to kill. That means the disinfectant can't do its job. By cleaning first, you remove the dirt and grease from the surface. Cleaning products break down and detach soil from surfaces, allowing them to be wiped away. Then you spray the disinfectant and allow it to dwell wet for the label specified amount of time. Now the product can do its job. Using a cleaning product and a disinfectant is part of a cycle. Cleaning preps the surface for the disinfectant. At the same time, it's cleaning up the residue left behind by the last application of disinfectant. That means cleaning products are an essential part of the disinfection process. To keep the toxicity of your environment down while you disinfect more, choose cleaning products that can prove a better health, safety, and biodegradability profile. One easy way to do this is to choose products with third-party certifications from organizations like those from Ecologo or Green Seal. Remember, your goal here is to leave the environment you clean safer for everyone. Always be sure to read the instructions for your product thoroughly and choose green cleaning when you can.